I'm Karen. Before these guys came into my life, the only thing I knew about cooking was making reservations and sitting at the chef's table. Now, I'm the chef, and they sit at my table. And I'm Ronica. Full disclosure, before my kids were born, I was hoping somebody would come up with a pill to get rid of hunger. But now here I am, cooking up some simple, delicious fare. And together, we're, we're the South Asian, Asian Tasting, Tasting Table. table. Namaste, I'm Karen Johnson. And I'm Ronika Sajjani. And welcome to Toronto's Little India, where we're here to give you a sneak peek of a brand new cooking show called the South Asian Tasting Table. It's all about making Indian cooking really simple. <laughs> and I would know, sometimes cooking can be very intimidating. Karen's cooking style at the moment is much like mine was when I started cooking. Disorganized. Very simple. Precious spices. No, they're not. They're the precious spices. Garam masala can be had in different forms. She will get to where I am now. All right. Karen and I are going to share our culinary expertise and some of our mishaps to help it make it as simple as one, two, three. I like to say she's more old school and true to being. Monica, why don't you go through the ingredients and spices? I will. Oh, it's got to be a twist. I'm going to make it. <laughs> Karen's going to pretend she makes it. I don't have a lot of time to be that creative, so everything for me is spiced and condensed, so all my ingredients I find already mixed, easy to put into the entrees and on the table within 20 minutes. So I'm going to introduce you to some exotic spices and take the myths out of South Asian cooking. I have never seen this before. Sorry, wait a second. No. Coriander is dhania. Excuse me. Cumin powder. Okay. Yeah, from time Time we've gone a little bit head to head. Uh, these are better. I like these ones. If I have never had this. Yes, you did. Um, that might have to do something uh, with the fact that I don't think Karen cooks that much. <laughs> I've heard of it. It's a karela. From Karela? I just have a different take on things. We're going to share our recipes and some handy tips to help make your ordinary meals simply extraordinary. We're going to use some cumin. And this is also cumin seed, except it's been roasted, and I'm going to use it to garnish. She's a lot more organized than I am. For me, it's all flying by the seat of my pants. So if I can get the dishes to the table within 30 minutes, I've done a good deal. So grab a seat and join us at the South Asian Tasting Table. Welcome to our kitchen here at South Asian Tasting Table. We're going to make a very delicious dish for a lot of you out there. It's been a staple on many of the lunch menus and dinner menus. We're just going to add a little bite to it. We're going to make shepherd's pie masala style. And masala simply means a mixture of spices which you can make and use either as a powder or as a paste. Welcome back to the South Asian Tasting Table. It's time for our presentation or our unveiling. How'd you make it look so special? Well, I just garnished it and made a little salad. You can use whatever's in your fridge. You can use the ingredients you've used to actually make the dish. So that's what I did, which is onions, tomatoes, cilantro, another green chili for whoever wants to spice it up more, and some peas. You can use frozen, defrosted, or you can just steam fresh peas. And that's it. You can make a regular Western salad. You can make a kachumbar, yes. Looks good. And to neutralize the palate, I've decided to go with a blueberry mango yogurt shake to in case it's a little too hot for some of you out there. Well, if you want more information on this recipe and many more, go to our website, SouthAsianTastingTable.com. We'll see you next time.